In this lesson, you will learn about the area and circumference of a circle. Before we begin any problems, let's take a quick review of some vocabulary. I have a circle down here drawn for you, and what I'm going to do is go through the key vocabulary terms and then highlight them on the figure. So let's begin with area. Area is the space contained inside a figure. Next, let's talk about the circumference. Circumference is the distance around the circle, and the circumference is shown by this green line that outlines the entire circle, so that line represents the circumference. The diameter is the length of a circle, so if you divide the circle directly in half, the line that cuts the circle in half is the diameter. The diameter cuts through the origin, or middle point, of the circle. Now, if you take the diameter and you cut that line in half, what you get is the radius. The radius is half of the diameter, and you can draw the radius from the center of the circle to any point along the circumference. All of these measurements of circles are related to one another, often by a special constant called pi. Pi is the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter. Now let's just make some room and talk a little bit about this. So if you have pi here equals circumference divided by diameter, or the ratio of circumference to diameter, you can multiply both sides of this equation by the diameter, and you get a different um, equation. So you get, I'm going to abbreviate d for diameter. If you multiply both sides, you get d times pi on the left equals c. So the circumference equals pi times d. Now let's take this one step further by recalling that when you have the diameter and the radius, right, there's a relationship between these two. The radius is half the diameter, which means that 2 times the radius equals the diameter, right? So 2 times the radius equals diameter. So you can substitute 2r into this equation down here. So you get 2r times pi equals c. So here you have the formula for finding the circumference of a circle if you know the radius. So circumference equals 2 pi r, and let's just rewrite that. And that's just rearranging the terms that you have here on the left side. Now let's talk about how we can use the circumference formula to understand where the area formula of a circle comes from. Okay, so we've got our circumference formula, it's right here, c equals 2 pi r, and now we have this circle that we've divided into 8 wedges. Now recall that the distance from here to here, right, this line, is equal to the radius of the circle. So now to understand where we derive the area formula from, what I'm going to do is take these 8 wedges and imagine that we cut that circle open so we have just 8 wedges on their own and we're going to line them up together. Let me show you an image for that. So here we go, I've got the eight wedges lined up side by side with one another. And I'm going to talk about this figure a little bit more. If you went around that entire circle, you would have the circumference. Now notice that those outer edges of the circle make up the top of this new figure that we've created by lining them up. What that means is that you basically end up with a parallelogram here if you can see it. Like I'm going to, I'm going to draw it in. So you get this parallelogram type figure. And now, the area of a parallelogram, if you recall, is area equals length times width. So the length here ends up being pi r. And why does that happen? Well, this happens because we know that the outer edge of these wedges is the circumference. And one half of the outer edge, or one half of the circumference, makes up the top of the parallelogram, and one half of the circumference makes up the bottom of the parallelogram. So if you take 2 pi r and you divide it in half, you get pi r. So now you have the length of this parallelogram, and what you need to think about next is what is the width so we can find the area. Well, the width happens to be this line right here, which is the radius, right? Because you can imagine that you have this center point and it goes out to the edge to make the wedge. So the height of the wedge is the radius. Which means that if you want to find the area of this parallelogram, you would take the width of r and the length of pi r and multiply them together. So area equals length pi r times r. Now r times r equals r squared, so the area equals pi r squared. And that's how we get to the area formula for a circle.
Now let's try solving a problem together. Sally is making a poster in the shape of a donut for her school bake sale. She cuts a circle that is 20 inches wide. Find the area of the poster. Now remember, the width of a circle is the same thing as the diameter, right? So this blue line across the center is the width, or you can think about it as the diameter, and we know that that value is 20 inches. Now recall that the area of a circle is area equals pi r squared, so we need to find the radius. Well, the radius is half of the diameter, right? So it would be the distance from the midpoint of the circle or the center of the circle to the circumference. And if we're looking at half of the diameter, we're looking at 20 divided by 2, which is 10. So the radius equals 10. Now let's start plugging into this area formula, right? Area equals pi. Pi has a value of approximately 3.14, so that's what we'll use. So we have 3.14 for pi times 10 squared, because that's the radius. So let's keep going. Area equals 3.14 times 100. 10 times 10 is 100. And now when you multiply 3.14 times 100, you get the value for the area, which is 314. And let's use our units here. We're dealing with inches, so the area of this poster is 314 inches squared. Now let's take a look at another part of this poster. What if, what if Sally wanted to put a ribbon that runs around the outer edge of the piece of paper she cut out to make this donut? So she wants to put a ribbon all the way around the edge. How much ribbon would she need for the size poster that she has? Well, remember, the distance around a circle is the circumference of that circle, and the formula for circumference is 2 pi r. So now let's start filling in. We've got c equals 2 times 3.14, right, because 3.14 is the value of pi, and r is up here. We found it to be 10. So when you multiply all this together, you get the value of the circumference. So this means that Sally will need 62.8 inches of ribbon to go around the circumference of the poster that she's made. In this lesson, you've learned about the area and circumference of a circle. Thanks for watching.